It is good to see you again, my friends. I hope you are here to tell me you have made contact with the Resistance. We are, General. Allow me to introduce Monago of Rolga's Reach. At your service, sir. And may I say what an absolute honor it is to stand before the Bull of Alamigo. These are not the blood sands, girl. You and I are but soldiers on a battlefield fighting for the same cause. Uh, as you say, General. <clears throat> on behalf of Commander Kemp of the Alamegan Resistance, I present to you our formal response. Good. I'm glad we've reached an accord. Though I was not aware you had suffered such losses. Aye. Some of our finest took part in the Griffin's doomed assault, and we've been struggling to find new recruits ever since. The massacres cast a pall over the whole resistance, and many who might once have been open to joining us have since thought better of it. After all of the Griffin's false promises, one can hardly blame them. They have no desire to give their lives for a lost cause. We will not lie to them. This is war, and lives will be lost. Yet what we offer is not the fever dream of a madman, but true hope. The people need proof of this, Father. Let us show it to them. I say we stand shoulder to shoulder with our new allies and engage the Garleans in open warfare. The Resistance must demonstrate that they can hold their own against Imperial regulars. And with our assistance, I am confident they can do just that. If we can achieve even a token victory, I believe it will serve to rekindle the hope of the Alamegan people, and inspire them to rise up once more. Aye. Aye. Once word spread that we'd won a battle against the Galleons, I'd wager we'd have new recruits flocking to us from Malms around. The question is, when and where do we strike? I'm glad you asked. I have a plan. <laughs> 